all right guys welcome to the final part of our module 2 uh, this is part 3 of module 2 now in our previous part we talked about input and output where we learned how to uh, impute variables using the scanner and thereafter we learned how to impute string variables using scanf and also using the f -tons. so in our part 3 we'll talk about operator and expressions we would learn various type of operators and how parentheses are used to perform operations on variables and values. As C divides the operators into four different groups, we have arithmetic operators, we have assignment operators, we have comparison operators, we have logical operators, and we have device operators. So before we move on, I do give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already done so. And also do not forget to click on the notification bell so that when I release new videos, you will be alerted immediately. Alright, so moving on now, uh, let's talk about the arithmetic operators. The arithmetic operators, only, the arithmetic operators are used to perform common mathematical operations. Uh, we have the addition, we have the subtraction, we have the multiplication, we have the division, we have the modulo, uh, we have the and so we know what addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division does. Uh, a lot of people struggle with the modulo uh, because the modulo returns the remainder of a division, while the increment is supposed to increase the value of the variable by one, and the decrement is supposed to increase the value of the variable by one. You know, I would not leave you without. I will be limiting myself to float. Uh, entered properly in the multiplication or the division. I have two variables uh, are written as minus one and the other variable is written as minus two. So I'd say minus one is uh, Okay, so we have the first one, let's call that uh, put as well, say uh, sum is equal to uh, plus two. Two. 
Okay, so we have to print all these values. Run the code. So usually twenty plus three uh, supposed to plus one. Okay, so uh, browsing our code and pressing the through. You see we have the code to sign. So we have to put the one more error again. Uh, is it modulo? Okay, so modulo. Uh, we can uh, work with modulo using floating numbers. Okay, so uh, we will test. Twenty plus three is twenty-three. That is the sum. So let's change this now to subtraction. Let's run our code again. That should be twenty minus three. That should be seventeen. That's correct. Let's see what the answer will be. Division twenty times three is sixty. Then for division, I write three. Here we have six point six 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 seven. Now let's go to increment. So by using plus plus here, our minus one is supposed to increase by one. So twenty uh, minus one plus plus uh, should increase by one. issue with the online compiler increment is adding while the uh, the increment is increasing and one minus minus supposed to reduce 20 by one to give us 29 and minus one plus plus supposed to give us 20 plus one and that should give us 21 and so this is an issue uh, with the Okay, so let's now take an example with That, uh, how many times can 20 divided by 3? Uh, 20 divided by 3 is 6 times uh, times 3 is 18 so 18 plus 2 gives us 20 so when 20 divided by 3 the remainder is 2 so the remainder is what modulo prints uh, another example let's say this is 10 uh, 10 divided by 3 is 3 with remainder 1 so the answer should be 1 Modulo is usually the remainder of the division of two numbers. So let's say we have two here. Uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5 with no remainder. So the remainder is 0. So we should expect the modulo to output 0. Okay, let's go to the next operator, which is the assignment operator. The assignment operator assigns values to variables. So like the equal to, the plus equal to, minus equal to the multiply equal to and so this is what they stand for and the plus equal to means if i say x plus equal to 3 it means i want 3 to be added to x and then the value is assigned to x if x minus equal to 3 it means i want to subtract 3 from x and then assign the new answer to x and that's what happens for the rest of different type of assignment Uh, one or two examples for our assignment of winter. Uh, so then one uh, print, uh, print minus 
one. Okay, so let's run that. Subtract 5 from 10 and then assign 5 to minus 1. Change it to multiplication. So it means uh, 10 multiplied by 5, which is 50, then assign 50 to minus 1. So if it was right, same thing. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Then five. One. Uh, this was modulo. Uh, we should have 0. Okay, so basically that's how uh, the comparison operator works. What are the comparison operators? So the comparison operators, we have the double equal to, we have the exclamation equal to, we have the greater than and the less than. We have the greater than of equal to, and we have the less than of equal There's something special about the comparison operator. Uh, their return value is usually 1 or 0. Uh, 1 means true and 0 means false. Uh, they can also be called Boolean uh, operators. Uh, so let's take a A minus 1 is 10, minus 1 is 2. Then we say we want to print uh, 1. And zero means false. So in this instance, ten is equal to ten, so that is true. If I change this to true once again, I change this to exclamation. Change this to exclamation equal to two and I run. This me one because ten is not equal to two. So two and then returns. Uh, so once again, let's try for greater than and less than. I will say is minus 1 greater than minus 2, true. So it returns 1. Uh, is minus 1 less than minus 2, false. It returns 0. Uh, is minus 1 greater than or equal to minus 2. Uh, so let's say this is uh, 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 then greater than or equal to. It seems to be equal to minus 1 for us. Uh, a is it less than or equal to. It also returns. That's how the comparison operator works. Okay. The logical operator, uh, this also returns true or false. Uh, the double AND sign is the logical AND. Uh, for example, if we say x is less than 5 and x is less than 10, uh, full vertical stroke is logical or Return true if one of the both statements is true. Uh, there we have the exclamation, which is in logical not, and it only reverses the result of our output. Uh, so let's say we have x less than 5 and x less than 10 to be true, and then we use the exclamation mark and we print something. And then if we can take some examples. A uh, minus 1 and 1 greater than 5. 
and uh, minus 2 uh, greater than 6. So, uh, let's run this code. We see 1. What does it mean? It means that minus 1 is greater than 5. Let's say this was 2. Is zero, which is false and because minus 2 is 2 and is not greater than 6. But if we change this to all, see what the output will be this time. Okay, so let's run the code. We see 1 uh, because minus 1 is greater than 5, uh, 10 is greater than 5. Although minus 2, minus 2 is not greater than 6 because we use the all. As one of the two statements is true, uh, the output will be true. So let's change this back to and once again and use the logic rule. So in the logic rule, not then minus one is greater than five. Yes, that is true. What is minus two greater than six? No, the answer should be false. When we run this, we get the true. Use the logical node. Now there is a special type of operator that I need to talk about. That is the size of operator. The size of operator is used to determine the memory size of byte of the data type of all the variables. So for example, here when I declare a variable as int, I declare a variable here as float, I declare another variable here as double. Then I declare that variable here as char. I can find the size of those variables. That would let's adjust them properly. Okay, so So it says the size of my int is 4 bytes on my machine. My machine, the size of my int is 4 bytes. And the size of my float for my machine is also 4 bytes. And the size of my double for my machine is 8 bytes. And the size of my char for my machine is 1 byte. So I see that for every integer I enter on my uh, on my by the position of 4 bytes. Enter will also provide the position of 4 bytes, and for every double I enter, that will be 8 bytes, and for every character I enter, that will be 1 byte. So the size of A is an operator in C that is used to determine the size in bytes of A. Now let us explore expressions and operator precedents. In C programming, an expression is a combination of values, variables, operators, and function calls. Can be evaluated to a single value. Operator precedence determines the order in which operations are evaluated. Those with higher precedence are evaluated before those with lower precedence. S's can be used to override the default precedence and control the other evaluation. Let's see an example. Okay, so let me copy this code. By basic calculation, what could have been say 5 plus 3 is 8? When we run this code, we do not get that, we get 11 instead. This is because the multiplication sign has higher precedence compared to the addition sign. So 3 times 2 gets executed first, which is 6. Now we can use parentheses to control the evaluation. In this instance, if I use a parenthesis here, my output will no longer be 11, and my output will be 16. Why? Because by means of parentheses, I have simply told the compiler to create, to, to 
rules give me the value of what is located in the middle of this, which is 5 plus 8. 8 is multiplied by 2 to give us 16. Okay, that's how we control our outputs using our references. So, points you can pause your video and then uh, try to do the exercises and the quiz that have been presented. I will come to the end of module 2 of this course learning how to code in C. If you have any questions, uh, do drop them in the comment section and I will be sure to attend to all of your questions. Thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time in the next module. Bye for now.